Uh, welcome back to the Power Trip Morning Show. It's six forty-six. Just uh, uh, because uh, um, Sus is is the man, he reached out to our friend Jenny from KDWB right down the uh, the hallway here, and she was nice enough to stop by and tell us about what she went through yesterday. And Hi, guys, Jenny. as Jenny sits down, I want to tell you guys, um, uh, this is not going to be easy for her. Uh, I was just talking to her beforehand, and I want to tell you, uh, Jenny, uh, thank you. Uh, mm-hmm. for taking the time to come in and uh, describe to us what went down with you. Um, Jenny was on the bridge when the semi came through yesterday. And yes. th- th- um, this is going to be hard, and I I, uh, I encourage you just to go ahead and, and uh, tell us what you saw leading up to it and what happened to you yesterday. Yeah, so um, I was on the side that the semi went through, and just seconds before we had done a moment of silence so everyone was sitting on the ground and we were all kind of looking to the center barrier because the leaders of the uh protests were up there talking so we're looking towards like the middle the center of the barrier of the entire crowd and all of a sudden basically i see the people standing on the barrier start looking towards where the semi was coming and then i look towards the crowd that i'm next to and they start running and screaming and I didn't see the semi right away. I saw everyone running and screaming, so I didn't know what was going on. And so I started to try to run towards the center barrier. And I got pushed down because it was just a stampede of people. And the semi went past me as I was just like covering my head on the ground. And then um, it feels like it happened within seconds. Like I, I don't even know. I think I blacked out at a moment. I truly thought I was dying. Like, I saw that semi come barreling in, and I thought I was dying. Um, And so I got up as soon as it had gone past, and I knew I was okay. And my boyfriend was there, so I found him because we got separated. And then I grabbed his hand, and I ran. um, And I said, we have to get out of here. Um, And so we left. But basically, we saw everyone, like, chase after the semi, and... I didn't know what the semi was going to do at that point anymore. I didn't know if it was going to back up or drive or anything. So I just wanted to get off that bridge. And that's all I was thinking about in that moment. But like, when I say the sounds of the screams that I heard, like I swore people had gotten run over. And so it was like one of the most terrifying things I'll probably ever experience in my life. And I'm trying to like be willing to hear if there was like a reason that the driver did it, if he was confused, if any of that happened, but I can tell you from my experience, it was just terrifying. So if anyone's talking about being on that bridge, please just like give them sympathy because we all thought that like hundreds of people were getting murdered. (laughs) Jenny, you're doing great. And thank you. I appreciate it very much. Um, We, as people watching it on television, had a completely, obviously, different perspective in a million different ways. Um, my first concern after I saw that he'd stopped uh, wasn't just the, the people that he might have hit, because we didn't know if he'd hit anybody at that point, but also that maybe that there was an explosive device on that truck. At any point, did that run through your mind as well, or was it everything just about getting away from it? Um, all I thought was to run. I didn't think that it could explode. I just thought that it was going to move again and either back up and run more people or run someone over or move forward and run someone over. Um, I mean, I didn't see anyone really laying down. There were bikes that had gotten run over and there were people trying to like help people that had fallen. And, um, but everyone was like running by the time we had been able to get up and run. Mm. Um, but yeah, I, it's, it's hard to like try to describe what was going through my head because I seriously, I like I said, I think I blacked out. You had a near-death experience. Yeah. There. You did. You really did. How Can you tell me, do you know how close you were to the semi? I mean, I was sitting in between the fast lane and then the next lane over the driving lane Jeez, when it was coming. So close. And so I barely got to move before I got pushed down as I was trying to run to the center barricade. So I was basically still in the fast lane as it was going past me. Unbelievable. Can how can you describe to me before that terror filled moment? What was the protest like before that? Um, I mean, it was as peaceful of a protest I think as you can get with as many people that were there. There's always going to be some bad apples, but I didn't see a single one. And we had just gotten done doing a moment of silence. The leaders of the protest had given just beautiful speeches about change. 
And it was just like a moment of solidarity right before a moment of what felt like pure destruction and yeah. hate. And so like, yes, as I was leaving, all I could think was hate, but I am a person who likes to also think with reason. So I am trying to understand what happened because I know that they have no idea what happened yet, but mm -hmm. I know that videos I've seen, there are cars that are stopped on the bridge before the people. And it just feels like from the semi driver's point of view, they could have seen what was going on, whether they were confused or whatever other people are saying. I just don't think that he would have done what he did if he didn't have a bad intention in mind. I just think he would have been able to stop. When you got up off the uh, the road and, and you and your boyfriend got away from there, where did you go? Um, we ran to, so we ran to the opposite side where the grass was. So we didn't jump the barrier or anything to get on the other side of the highway. We went to the opposite side and ran through just tall grass down a little hill to a side street. And then we saw hundreds of cops go flying past us and there were just people crying. There were people screaming. Um, and I just said, let's get out of here. I don't know what's happening. Let's just get out of here. And we basically ran back to his car, which was parked downtown by like, um, I don't know, on Washington by like the Depot Hotel or something over there. So what do you say to the people on Twitter? And it's a small group, but what do you say to the people on Twitter that basically say this is what you deserve for being on an interstate anyway? Um, I am very much behind everything that's going on. I'm behind the protest. I want change. And I feel like we should be able to protest and do something that's going to hopefully cause a huge change in the system and if that takes going on a highway to do it and you think that we shouldn't be doing it, then that's your opinion. And I'm not going to argue with you on that. But the amount of attention that this has caused and not even nationwide, but in different countries, I think that it's making a change for the good. So I think that what we did is OK. And I'm not going to argue with someone who says not to be on a highway that is your opinion, but I do believe in what happened yesterday, the good of what happened yesterday, and that's what I'm sticking with. Jenny, you're on the right side of history, so don't worry about what those people say. Um, what are you going to do? You, you need to talk to somebody. You, you really do. You, you were you literally have some PTSD. You know that, right? Oh, yeah. I mean, I've been shaking all night and day. So. I know. I was watching you when you were standing in my studio over here. You, you, I'm not even sure it's, that you need to be at work today, dear. I know, but... I just want to be here to support the people who are here for the good. And I do have a perspective on that. So I want to make sure that I get that point across. Yeah. Yeah. That's brave of you. Well, well I'm, obviously we're all glad you're okay. And I'm sorry you went through that. Thanks. Yeah. All right. You, uh, well, what's, by the way, what's next for you then? Cause if the protests keep going, how, how do you feel about get, getting back out there yeah, and keep good going? Point, good point. Um, cause I doubt they're done. I do believe that I'll still attend things. I think I will watch. Honestly, I think I will watch what I go to from now on. But I know that there's plenty of other ways to help out right now, including donations. Or I help clean Lake Street this weekend after mm. all the destruction there. Mm. So I know that there's other ways where it will be much more safe. So I don't want to say that I'm going to stop going to protests, but... I'll probably take a little break because I'm not ready for any other potential harm to happen in this moment. Yeah, understood. Understood. Thank you for doing that. Thanks. I appreciate you telling us your story. Take mm -hmm. care of yourself, please, okay? If you yeah. need anything, obviously, please let us know, okay? Yeah, thank you. Yeah.